We have the ultimate responsibility for the safety of our flights. And the first step to combating this threat is making sure we all understand what is happening and how we can stop it. Airbus will tell you that, nope, this is only for flights that are already operated with two pilots. It's only for those long duty days where you really could use some rest that is two pilot operations anyway. Well, that's BS. They're misrepresenting what they're really trying to do. This is from the EASA, European Aviation Safety Agency's proposal for extended minimum crew operations, clearly delineating that their goal is to get rid of augmented crew altogether. Two pilot operations in all international flights. Notice the last bullet under EMCO benefits. They say, Airbus says it's all about safety. You can see right there, increased operations efficiency. Let's call it what it is, bean counters trying to save money at our expense. They're going to get rid of that second jump seat behind the captain's seat and put a toilet. Think about that for a minute. That's no pilot ops. So when you have to relieve yourself, there's nobody at the controls. They're even proposing a comm panel at that toilet so that you could look forward at the controls, at the instrumentation, and if ATC calls, well, you can answer it while you're resting on the can. Who would think that this is actually something that, that's out there? It's real. Again, they're being disingenuous. They're saying this is only for those two pilot flights. We're not trying to get flight time credits. We're not trying to do, you know, this is all on the up and up. And right in the best the EASA documents, it clearly says their goal is with EMC go, extends is to get flight time credits. Let these two pilot operations continue for all international operations. And what's crazy, EASA is moving forward with rulemaking on EMCL while there hasn't even been a completed safety study on EMCL. Does that sound nuts or what? I guess EASA's bread is buttered by Airbus. Why else would you be moving forward with rulemaking when the safety study hasn't even been complete? There's the timeline. That's where we are. Airbus says they're going to have EMC already on the 350 by 2027. We could have single pilot crews within the next five years. And their goal, as you can see on that slide, single pilot operations for freighters. Project Morgan is a single pilot A320 for freighter operations. Make no mistake, they're moving forward with this, as crazy as it sounds. That's why we're having this education, to let you know that it seems like some far off thing, but this is, this is really right around the corner. So what are we doing? As soon as our team hit, uh, took office, we hit the ground running. We engaged IFALPA. We engaged our brothers and sisters at the European Cockpit Association and said, what is going on? What, where are you on this? Because there was you know, some confusion on where the European pilots actually stood on this. So we got everybody together right away and found out that they're on the pointy end of the spear in Europe, and they are fighting it with all their might. So together, we created a coalition with this Safety Starts With Two campaign. Pilots speaking with one voice, working with their local regulators to prevent RCO. We can't just rely on the U.S. and Canadian regulators, who are largely in support of us, but we can't allow it to get here. The way it works at ICAO is we need other countries to weigh in in opposition of these crazy ideas. RCO is a serious threat. It's a threat to safety. We're putting every ounce of our energy into fighting this threat. This is about safety. The most important safety device on any airplane. Two well-rested and trained pilots on the flight deck at all times.